Monsieur la France, c'est à l'UB de Charles, nous allons le combat. Bonjour. Next week, we mark uh, uh, the, one, the first year of uh, uh, the terrible war in Ukraine, the uh, full-fledged invasion by Russia against uh, Ukraine. And we see uh, no signs that uh, President Putin uh, is preparing for peace. Uh, what we see is the opposite. Uh, he is preparing for more war, for new offensives and uh, new attacks. So it makes it just even more important that uh, NATO allies and partners um, provide more support uh, to Ukraine and we will meet uh, later on today in the US-led uh, uh, contact group uh, for uh, Ukraine and address the urgent needs uh, for uh, increased support to Ukraine. Not least the need to provide uh, more ammunition and uh, also how to ramp up uh, production uh, and strengthen our defense industry to be able to uh, provide uh, the necessary uh, ammunition uh, to Ukraine and also to replenish our own uh, stocks. Uh, the issue of aircraft is not uh, the most urgent issue now, uh, but it is an ongoing discussion. Uh, and as I've said before, uh, we have uh, ongoing consultations among allies on the type of systems allies uh, should deliver to uh, Ukraine and that will continue and we have evolved uh, the type of support we have uh, we are providing to Ukraine has changed and evolved over the time and it will continue to change and evolve as this war uh, uh, develops <laughs> Already, both Finland and Sweden are uh, uh, much closer and much more integrated in, uh, to, uh, to NATO. So uh, the main question is not whether Finland and Sweden uh, are ratified together. Uh, the main question is that uh, they are both ratified as full members as soon as possible. And I'm confident that both uh, will uh, uh, be full members. Uh, and are working hard to get uh, both uh, ratified as soon as possible. Ich glaube, dass alle verstanden haben, dass die Frage der Luftverteidigung und die Frage der Munitionsnachbeschaffung viel wichtiger sind im Augenblick als die Diskussion über Kampfjets, bei denen alle wissen, dass die Ausbildung allein zum Fliegen schon mehrere Monate dauert, geschweige denn die Vermittlung der Fähigkeiten, die es braucht, um die Waffensysteme dann auch zum Einsatz zu bringen. Also wir sollten uns auf das fokussieren, was jetzt im Mittelpunkt steht, gerade im Angesicht einer offenbar stattfindenden russischen Offensive.